welcome to another video uh, in this fiber tutorial series so let's go to our firebase console and create a project so console.firebase.google.com let's open this link you'll be redirected to your firebase console which will have have your gmail sign in uh, so there are some projects that i already have so i'm going to create a new project for now Let's call this Firebase test. Okay, I'm good to go. Hit continue. Uh, I'll just leave it as it is for now. Hit continue. I need to select an account so I can just hit default account for Firebase and I create project. So it will take some time to create this project actually. Uh, so you need to wait for some time here. Okay, the Firebase project is ready, so let's hit continue. It will redirect to our actual project here. So you can see that you can integrate Firebase in an Android, uh, iOS, Web, Unity, and even Flutter. We'll just start with Android. So it asks for our package name here. So we're going to provide our package name, go to your Android Studio. You can just see your package name, uh, not from the manifest, but if you open any class here, on top of this, you can see your package name. So Firebase test, I'll, I'll just copy this. Be careful that your package name has to match uh, to which your project is pointed out. These two are optional for now, so I'll just hit register. So your app is being registered for now. Now we need to add some dependencies uh, to our project but first of all we are provided with this file google services.json so let's download this file okay so you so you have this file so i'll just copy this file out just hit copy go back to android studio and change this project pane from android to project go inside app just select app and hit paste here remember the file name has to be google services google hyphen services.json okay it should match this so our file is copied here let's go back to our console it also tells you that you need to copy this file inside your app folder which we already done hit next now we are going to add some plugins here since on um, since we have an upgraded uh, version of Android Studio which has this Kotlin DSL so we're going to use this not the groovy not the groovy build or gradle part so first of all uh, copy this line it asks you to paste this line in, in build.gradle.kts in the project level build.gradle.kts so go back to Android again uh, open gradle script you'll see two build.gradle.kts the first one should be opened here project label and then just hit enter and paste this okay so this line is done now uh, we go to our second file so okay first of all it's build dot build up kts for the project now we go to build up kts for our app module uh, we copy these statements here so let's do this one by one so the first one will be this we go to this file jet plugins we'll copy this again the second line this is also pasted here now we directly jump on to our dependencies and then add these dependencies here so first of all for the firebase basic sdk and then and then for our firebase analytics actually these two are not needed what i am interested is in authentication and database for now so add these manually here com.google.firebase colon firebase uh, sorry hyphen auth okay this should be good and then also add one for database 
so that we don't have to add it later on com dot google indicate everything inside string mm, dot firebase dot all colon firebase hyphen database and then it should have some version okay i'm i'm good for now uh, i think this is all they have asked me to add so after this i can just hit sync now remember that your laptop should be connected to the internet because your project is going to download some libraries that are not available uh, in our project right now so okay this is not needed so i can remove this and then hit try again everything else is needed here so there is something oh okay i don't need a semicolon at the end yeah and then i need to close my st string here again try again hit try again again so actually uh, your project is downloading these libraries from the dependency statement that we provided so it might take some time okay the build is successful so everything is built for now now we can directly use authentication but we'll go back to our studio here uh, or firebase console then hit next everything is done now we can continue to console so as you can see you have a lot of functionalities provided here on like authentication data connect uh, firebase uh, sorry firestore database machine learning hosting we are going to start with authentication so get started first of all what we're going to do is we're going to use these native providers for email and password and hit enable here uh, email link password list sign in okay we'll not enable this for now just hit save now you should see your authentication is on but we haven't provided any user for now so what we can do is we can go back to our project go to register activity and actually register our user here where inside this particular function so we'll pick out our email and password in a two string variables so the string first first string is user email we'll extract email typed by the user inside this get text or two string the second one is a uh, user password so password dot get text dot to string what we're going to to use here is firebase auth oh this library should have been provided here firebase auth okay let me check where we made if we made any mistake in our build out gradle i think the auth part is good the database part is also good let me check if we have database reference or not okay we don't have anything for now so the firebase uh, libraries were implemented so what i will try is i'll try to build this project clean this project first and then try to rebuild the project Okay, I'm going I have to go to rest activity and just get create project again very good project Okay, 
the project build is complete let's define our firebase auth object here if we are allowed to do this not sure why we're not allowed to do firebase auth i think we can import this right yeah so yeah we can import this firebase auth here from common google firebase package so firebase auth just get the auth for now we have to initialize this object so auth equals to firebase auth dot get instance now we can use this auth object to create our user so we'll do create user with email and password we have to pass two different strings one for email which is user email and another for password which is user password which you have prepared earlier dot let's just do add on complete listener on complete listener and then do another one dot add on failure listener failure listener okay uh, let me find this so what we do in on failure listener is let's show a toast message saying that user registration would not be done but if our task is successful also we can check this if task dot is successful then we can intent this to our login activity so we are at register activity dot this comma login activity dot class and uh, what else we can also give a toast that user registration successful okay uh, but if the task is not successful then we can again make a toast and then say that user registration has failed user registration has failed so everything else is okay the task for user registration is done let's go to login where is login yeah so let's go to login also initialize an object for first for five is auth here i think we can import this state all enter uh, this will be auth inside login on click listener so auth equals to five is five is auth dot get instance and then we'll sign in with user email and password so We'll sign in with email and password again we need to prepare our email and password in strings so use email equals to email dot get text dot to string and string uh, user pass equals to password dot get text dot to string okay now we pass our two different strings here basically user email first user email and then user pass dot add on complete listener on complete listener and then dot add on failure listener new on failure listener We'll provide a semicolon at the end. Now, inside our failure listener, we'll provide a toast saying that user login is not successful. Then we go on the top inside incomplete. We're again going to check if our task is successful or not. So, task dot is successful. If this happens, then we're going to show a toast. Uh, saying user login succeed success and we're going to start our activity transition to main activity so start activity new intent we are at login activity dot this we're going to go to main activity dot class but if our task is unsuccessful or if our credentials fail then uh, toast dot make text then we say user authentication authentication field so this is it for uh, registration and login we have we do have main activity but we have not done anything with that let's first run this and see 
if we can uh, register and sign in into our into our application using Firebase. And we'll run our application here. So our application has successfully run. We we are in our login screen. So let's not go for login because since we don't have any user right now, so we cannot directly go into login. We need to go first into register. Be careful that the form validations are not done yet. So uh, we cannot directly hit register here. The application is going to crash. Uh, in case you want to avoid that crash, then please uh, do add the form validation part. Let's add my email. So phi at the rate gmail.com. Uh, then I can just enter my password. It has to be at least six characters. So I'll put one, two, three, four, five, six for now. Uh, one thing that I've missed is to set the input type of this edit text as password, but I think you can do that yourself. Just hit register. There are no progress bars, but still the user registration is successful. Let's go back to Firebase console and see if our user has appeared here or not. As you can see, our user has appeared here. Now, using this particular uh, email id password i can log in into my application so abhi at the rate gmail.com which is just one two three four five six and then hit on login it should take me to main activity which it which it does and main activity contains hello world in this case so this was all for authentication uh, i hope your code runs too if you if you followed along if you have any problems do write do write in the comment section i'll try to uh, help you out uh, in the upcoming video we are going to continue using the firebase real-time database in our project here so i'll see you in the next video